Take your steak tips, spread those out just so nothing is clumped together. And then just some baby carrots right on top. And then I have some washed celery. Yes, I did wash it. Normally I don't wash my produce, but you guys have been in the comments telling me I have to wash everything. So I went ahead. Now I'm just breaking it so that it activates the flavors a little bit. Just like that, doesn't have to be perfect. And now some freshly chopped white onion. You could also use red onion. I just like the sweetness from a white onion. And I just did a rough chop, kind of thick, not too thick, but if you want them thinner, that's fine too. Just make sure to separate them as much as possible. And now I have some petite potatoes. We're not gonna use this whole bag. I don't think they would all cook in there. We use about half the bag to one third of the bag. And now I have some light brown sugar. We're using the light kind because we are trying to watch our calories on this dish. But if you wanna use regular brown sugar, that is fine. And we're doing a heaping half cup of that and just sprinkling it over all of our meat and veggies. And now for some liquid on our sauce, we have beef broth. We did not get the low sodium kind, but if you are worried about your sodium intake, I know they make these in low sodium and they taste exactly the same. A little more sauce with some Worcestershire. 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 I always tell everyone to comment how you say it, but everyone just comments the word. So I <laughs> still can't. You know, you know spell to, it out for us. Yeah, like I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm just eyeballing that. That's probably like a fourth, maybe a little over a fourth of a cup. I don't know. This was a full bottle and we used about that much. Now we're going in with two packets of the Lipton recipes. This is the onion recipe and this is the beef recipe. And we are just dumping both of those directly on top. Adding a little bit of high quality olive oil. This will just make sure that everything gets nice and golden brown in this crock pot. We're using garlic powder. You could also use fresh minced or the canned minced garlic. You know me, I go very heavy handed with the garlic, but just eyeball this. Use as much as you want. You know, the drill. Smoked paprika. paprika. Why do we use it? Because you don't get smokiness from a crock pot like you would on the grill, but I'm too lazy to use a grill. And it looks pretty. And it looks Pretty, look at how nice that looks. And remember, we're not watching our salt intake, so I am gonna do like a teaspoon of salt just to really activate all of those flavors. And then a little bit of cracked black pepper as well. Look at that, look at how delicious that looks. Let's see, I don't think we're gonna give it too much of a mix, but I'm just gonna try to mix it so all those spices Get down into that juice. We're looking to make a stew sauce, but as all of this starts to heat up, everything will kind of melt down and we'll be able to give it another mix. Get a little of those veggies on the bottom too, just so everything is flavored equally and evenly. I'd say that looks good. And I'll go ahead and pop that lid on and we are just gonna cook on high for about four to six hours. Ooh. Did you see that steam? Look at how perfectly cooked those veggies are. And look how much more liquid's in there. I'm gonna eat this for lunch all week. Wow. I don't know, I might beat you to it. Look at how good that looks. And that meat is cooked perfectly. Our potatoes are tender. Our carrots are fully cooked. I'm gonna need a plate of this. Let's get a good plate. First, we'll get some chunks of meat. Hot. A little meat, it's very hot. Some meat. We'll get some veggies. I think I got the wrong spoon for this. No potatoes okay. in this one today? No, there's oh, there potatoes. Are potatoes. There There's they one. are. Gotta get her a potato because I know she's a potato loving girly gal. And then we'll get a little bit of extra. Can we get sauce with this? Not really. Close enough. All right, let's get our taste tester in here. She's already ready. What's up? Every time. <laughs> she's already <laughs> ready. always ready. Careful, it's so for a good meal. Please it's don't burn so your tongue. Hot. This reminds me of my childhood, you guys. Do your moms ever make pot roast? Do you make pot roast? Are you a mom? I'm not a mom. I'm this also is your not new, a mom. Is this pot roast? It's, yeah. It's or roast stew? in a pot. It's is like it a stew? Is there a difference between Ooh. pot roast and stew? Oh, she's mm. going for it. I did the carrot. Mm-hmm. Good. Yeah, do the meat. All right. The meat is. Is that steak? What is that? Steak tips. Okay. Mm. You got? It's so hot. I'm kind of nervous. It, please be Just, careful. Yeah. Guard Ooh. your tongue. Okay. See how tender that was? Yeah. Flavor is awesome. 
This is really, really good. Mm -hmm. That is good. Yeah. All right, nine out of 10. What can make it a 10 is more salt. More salt. Always more it's salt. Always she loves sodium. salt. Sodium. You could just add it at the If end. you hate sodium, you'll probably love it. <laughs>